Kathleen, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Sean, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. During the years, and on summer vacation, he would ride by he would ride his bike down to my house nearly every day. And on one such day, my father had swung a rope across our driveway for some project he was working on, and Sean rode his bike right into it, clotheslining himself. He flew off his bike, struck the ground, and lay there for several minutes. I thought sure we had killed him. <laughs> and to this day, I still maintain he suffers from some neurological disorder because of this. So I can't think I'm sorry, but you know, that probably is where he gets it from. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> uh, well anyway, um, the point of these stories, other than for my amusement, is that he has a truly, he, uh, he can take a lot of abuse. <laughs> and is still loyal and dependable. He, and he has a truly forgiving nation, forgiving and patient nature. However, you may need, you need to make sure that you have major medical and AAA isn't a bad thing either. <laughs> I've been thinking for weeks how to sum up Sean in just a few words. The way that came to mind was a lovable goofball. <laughs> and although at first this phrase may seem somewhat demeaning, I certainly don't mean it so. I really mean if you have to go through life with someone, what better person to go through life with than a lovable goofball, goofball like Sean? <laughs> because, because when things need to matter, they'll take them seriously. And when life gets too hard, and believe me it will, it is the goofy part of it that will help you get through it. This is a large part of our personality. It's a big reason why we were best friends for 28 years. And it's because, it's because of our long friendship that he would take a look and talk to me about new girlfriends. And instantly I realized that Kathleen was very different that his love for her ran much deeper. He told me he could no longer imagine his life without her, that she was supportive of him, and he was truly a better man with her in his life, that, they could, that he felt that he could forge a new life together with her as a true partner, and that the family that they would create would be similar to the great and loving families 
from which they both came. He was sure that their love would endure no matter how, no matter what life had in store for them. So in this spirit, let us lift our glasses to the happy couple with wishes of a long and fruitful life together. Mr. and Mrs. Davenport for hosting this lovely evening. Um, it is evident that they have taken great care to host us and everything is beautiful. I would also like to welcome the Ellis family tonight who have traveled from Florida to be here this evening. I have known Kathleen over the course of 15 years and in that time we have shared numerous struggles and triumphs together. I consider her one of my best friends. She is truly one of the most loyal people that I know, and that is why I was so very happy when she met and fell in love with a man like Sean. I clearly remember her feeling that he was the one for a long time, and after some time she asked me if she and Sean could take my son Aiden to the Big Apple Circus because she wanted to see how Sean interacted with children. The last big item on the list. And of course, when Aiden and Sean came home and were sword fighting and roughing around in my kitchen, I knew that Sean had passed the test and the deal was sealed. And I couldn't be happier to be standing here today wishing them well as they start their own lives together. I would just like to end with this last thought, if everyone could raise their glasses as we toast the bride and groom to an Irish wedding blessing. <clears throat> May the light of friendship guide your paths together. May the laughter of children grace the halls of your home. May the joy of living for one another. <clears throat> May the light of friendship guide your paths together. May the laughter of children grace the halls of your home. May the joy of living for one another trip a smile from your lips, a twinkle from your eye. May the spirit of love find a dwelling place in your hearts. Congratulations. Yeah.